Hello again, friends, and welcome to the Valentine's Day special mm -hmm. of Doc G's Wine and Spirits Review. I had my favorite Valentine here, and um, I didn't even have to twist her arm to join me tonight. So it wouldn't be the same without her here, but we figured since Valentine is for lovers, here the two of us are, we're going to do this one together. Welcome, dear. Thanks. So, happy Valentine's Day now, and we'll make sure we say it again at the end. So, for um, just a little editorial before we start, I'm a little sad here today. My bird's lost. I was hoping when I did my spot over the weekend, I could come here and say Super Bowl champs. Well, unfortunately, we can't. So, we'll move on from that. So, um, what I want to do tonight is feature again, if you remember last month, I told you that I would once a month at least try to do something from this book here, the 12 bottle bar book. So we figured that for Valentine's Day, we'd try to come up with a red drink. So there are so many red drinks out there, but finding one that came from this book was a little bit difficult, but it actually turned out to be very easy based on my lovely wife's suggestion. So tell them what you decided. Well, since Valentine's Day is more of a, I always consider it more of a girly holiday, you know, you guys have to show us how much you just appreciate us and love us for all we do. After the abuse of football season, I would agree. Ah, uh, for sure. Um, what more appropriate for women would be a cosmopolitan? So, true confession, I honestly can't ever remember having had one of these before. So it's going to be uh, an experiment here for me. Um, you, if you all know, as it obviously, uh, Anne's reference to it being a girly drink, it was made very famous on the old Sex and the City series. I mean, they drank so many Cosmos in that series that it, made, it put the drink kind of on the map. But the Cosmo has been around, I think, longer than that series, but that series kind of put, um, that made it, it was the emblematic drink of that series. So we are going to share our Cosmo tonight here for you to celebrate our Valentine's Day and extend those wishes to you. So um, two of the bottles in the 12 bottle bar book are vodka and Cointreau or some type of orange liqueur. That's the one we're gonna to feature tonight. So the recipe for the Cosmo is vodka, orange liqueur. So we got that, our vodka is our Pennsylvania vodka. I've, if you've seen me feature Blue Coat, uh, which we did for the Philly special. Um, so this is, this is Philadelphia Distilling's vodka. It's called Pen 1681, and it is available at your liquor store, and so is the Cointreau, very easy to find. And again, that's the, wonder, the, the wonderful thing about this 12 bottle bar book these are all they're just everything it's it's like remember what i said it's like having your alcohol pantry ready to go at a moment's notice to make one of the drinks in the book so this has vodka in it orange liqueur cranberry juice and lime juice and it's really a very very simple drink it's served in a, these were pre-chilled in a martini glass so we're going to make two of them at one time so we're going to start with the vodka we're going to make two drinks at one time so as not to have to that's the vodka so for one drink it's one and a half ounces of vodka well doc t always goes you know a big, little overboard big one and a half so there's the vodka we're just going to pour this in here and shake it up now for one drink, you'd put in three quarters of an ounce. We're going to add an ounce and a half. Since this has a lovely light orange smell, we'll go with one and a half ounces here. A little bit syrupy. Pour that in there. You don't need a big bottle of this unless you really are into... I have some other orange liqueurs too that I really love. And then we take two ounces of cranberry juice. Whoops. And this lovely... You notice how the set design changes when I have a partner. So that's the red. That gives it the red color. We'll move that out of the way. And we need, for two drinks, Check a, that up some. a half an ounce directorial debut here as well. So we need a half an ounce of 
lime juice. You may do the honors, dear. Tighten that up real good. You only have to shake it a little bit. And voila. While she's doing that, I'm going to get my palate ready with a little Wilbur Bud here. One of my favorite chocolates. Just put them up. Notice the nice red. And then you can garnish these. The book says to garnish it with an orange peel. Oh. I prefer lime. No, no, no. no well, that's okay. not fair. Look at that. That's She's okay. getting more than me. She's supposed, to get me, than she's supposed to get me drunk. Yeah. So, garnish that. She wants the lime. I'm going to put both of the oranges in here. And. Whoops. Well, okay. Can't take you anywhere, can we? No. So, cheers. cheers. Let's see what these are like. This is my first Cosmo. Very light. A couple of those, you never know. I mean, no, that, no, those go down way too you might easy. Might get lucky. These go down way, way, way. So, that is your Cosmo. Notice the color. And got a little chocolate on my thumb there. So, whatever you choose to do for Valentine's Day, I hope you get a <laughs> chance to spend it with your special someone, as I'm doing here tonight with my special someone. It's kind of on a funky day this year. It's on a Tuesday, but Valentine's yeah. Day should be in your heart. Ha, ha, ha. No pun intended. Every day. Yeah. <laughs> so, to all of you, happy Valentine's Day. And may the love of the day be with you tomorrow and throughout the year. Happy Valentine's Day. I can get red lipstick all over you. It's messing me up. We'll see you again soon.